spoiler warning. The final boss of the game will be spoiled. In fact, I'm gonna count down from five, and when I reach zero, I'm gonna tell you what happens in the final battle. So if you don't want spoilers, you better leave now, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. There's a neat little rhythm game dance party thing. Wasn't very difficult, but it had a cool vibe. Anyway, the Jet Run badge in Super Mario Bros. Wonder forces you to keep moving at almost all times. So naturally, I wanted to try and beat the game with it. Speedruns will probably end up doing this anyway, but the game is still new, so this counts as being impressive, right? Since you don't have the badge from the start, I recollected all the Wonder Seeds I got during the path to unlocking it. Final thing, of course this is possible. They wouldn't put a badge that makes levels impossible to complete, so this video will focus on anything I found interesting during my playthrough. The first big issue I ran into with Jet Run was when I was required to stay in a confined space. In Bullrush Express, a stage which is required to unlock the badge, you have to stay on this train of bullrushes while also doing this challenging platforming. I found that jumping around is a good way to cancel your momentum in situations like this. In the Cosmic Hoppo stage, I had to use my jumps very wisely due to it being a vertical stage. I was lucky enough to find a hidden vine block that I wasn't aware of though, which made the climb much easier. Another thing with Jet Run is that it's faster than your regular running ability. In Pipe Rock Plateau Palace, I found myself trying to outrun the falling pipes and just not really succeeding. Wonder events can happen so suddenly, and hazards can spring on you faster than you can react sometimes. In Pedal Isles, I was disappointed to learn that the Jet Run badge doesn't work underwater. I was hoping that it would force you to move horizontally at all times, making waiting sections more interesting. But even if you're on the ground itself, the badge does nothing. There's a lot of instances where Jet Run just doesn't work and we'll get into them as we go through. The water levels weren't a total disaster for the challenge though. In Robert Cove, you need to wait on a donut block to access the Wonder Flower, which means I couldn't just jump up and down to store for time. Thankfully, with the donut block being so long, I was able to run back and forth on it to drop it down. Now, I won't be covering every world since sometimes there was just nothing interesting to talk about, but I thought I'd give you an example of what a piss ED level looks like. Kick it out my way, it's just not a threat at all. My favorite part is this 10 coin that you can just kind of get for free. It's actually funny how much easier Jet Run makes this level, or just some levels in general. In Jump Jump Jump, the coins at the end don't even spawn fast enough because you just run straight past them. The wonder mechanics in Con Darts Away and the Palace once again don't work with the badge, and the boss fight in the battleship is... The same as usual, really. I really wanted there to be some interesting parts to discuss in this video, so I intentionally went into some more challenging levels, such as cruising with linking lifts. This level is a slow moving platform level, where you need to hit these blocks to keep your platform alive. I found it was easier to ground pound the linking lift platforms rather than actually stand on the main one. You wouldn't think it would be easier, but being able to stop all your momentum with a ground pound is much easier than hitting the blocks from below. That's something that has to be done during the Wonder Flower segment, since they get really tall. I found it was best to hit them as soon as I could to keep the platform at a longer length for more time, and thus giving me more time to collect the falling wonder tokens. In the Hoppy Cat trial, I found myself getting completely jump scared by the Hoppy Cats, as they could jump from off screen slower than the time it takes me to actually reach them. I just kept tanking hits to the little guys. And in Launch to Victory, they punished me in a different way. Jumping on this platform non stop was getting a little tricky, so I started using the ground pound tech from World 2, as well as crouch walking to keep my overall speed lower. In Dual Block Cave, I was surprised to learn that burrowing underground with the drill is actually affected by Jet Run. It still stops at the edge of the platforms though, so it's a pretty free way to dodge enemies. I guess it's because it's considered a part of the main moveset, even though swimming, riding in lacto clouds, and even climbing vines aren't. In Swaying Ruins, you need to stay on the super tiny baby swamp to enter a door to the Wonder Flower Room. Crouch walking is absolutely the play here, but it's still really harsh. During the Knuckle Fest stage, I experienced the most outrageous case of Jet Run outspeeding the level gimmicks. Most of the music levels in the game are set to auto-scroll to stop this from happening, but I guess they didn't want to do it for blazing beats for some reason. Sometimes platforms just straight up don't spawn when they're supposed to, or the camera gets stuck where it shouldn't. Honestly, I'm surprised they left it in the game like this. It's low-key cool to have something so blatantly broken without glitches. And then the final boss. It's still outrageously easy to be honest, but Jet Run does make it a little harder to hit Bowser Switch since it's all timing and rhythm based and you often just kind of leave, but he still barely attacks you, so. So there we have it, Mario Wonder beaten with the Jet Run badge. 100% next? Let's get this to 1000 likes, and I'll do it as a livestream playthrough at the very least. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't yet. I've been stuck at my current sub count for a while, and I'd love to hit 300,000 one day. Also, I have a whole playlist of challenge videos just like this one if you're interested. See you soon!